In this video, I'll be talking about capacitors and lithium inductors and what their relationship is when they're in a circuit that's been open for a very long time or in a circuit that's just had current voltage introduced to it. So the thing or the property that with capacitors and inductors that you kind of have to memorize or be able to understand is that capacitors, once they have been had current through them for a very long time or they've been running for a while, capacitors are going to act as an open circuit versus if after they're initially opened or after they initially start having a current or a voltage through them, they're going to act as a short circuit. Inductors are just the opposite. After they've been open and having current voltage through them for a long time, inductors are going to be a short circuit, whereas after they have just been open, they're going to be an open circuit. So you'll often be given some type of circuit that has capacitors and or inductors in it, and you'll be told, you know, as this wire or as this connection is made, then it's been open for a long time or after it is just initially closed, then you'll have to find the voltage or current at different nodes. So looking at the two extremes, I find it easiest to draw an example of what the circuit will look like after it's been open for a long time, or what it's looked like after it's been open just initially. So after it's been open for a very long time and it has a constant up here, we just said that capacitors are an open circuit. So capacitors are just going to be open, but we said inductors after a constant time are just going to be a short. So this side would have no current flowing through it, where this side would have a lot of current flowing through it. And if we were asked to find any of the nodes here or here or here or here, we would be able to find that knowing that this is an open and this is a short. Same can be that said for the initial. If we said that capacitors, which would be on this side, after have they have been initially opened, they act as a short. And inductors, after they've been initially opened, they act as an open. And that then we can use if we have a more complicated circuit once again to find any of the current or voltage at any of the nodes that are surrounding this. And it'll help us to evaluate the rest of our circuit. And this is often helps simplify it a lot more actually, because as you can see, if we can eliminate one side as just an open circuit, then there's no current flowing through that side. We don't even have to worry about that side most of the time. Then our problem starts to deal with the other half of our circuit, and that just helps simplify the problem down a lot more for us and just find what we are actually looking for or what the question might be asking us. And always draw a constant current and an initial current to find those two extreme points to be able to find that. And one of the equations that we'll end up dealing with both a constant and an initial um, time value are when we're dealing with V of T and I of T, which is the voltage at a certain time or the current at a certain time of the node or of the circuit after we've been going through it for a long time. So V of infinity or I of infinity, that's what our starting value is. That would have been our constant after it's been open for a very long time or an infinite amount of time having voltage or current flow through it. Then we have minus V of zero or I of zero. Sorry, this is a plus, and this is our minus. And that then is our V infinity, or I infinity. Close brackets, and then we have E to the T over T, and E to the T over our time. And these T's, you can't see that very well, our top T is going to be our time that we're looking for, and our bottom T is going to be our time constant that we found using our R Thevenin, looking back at our other video. Or in this case, it's going to be T over our time 
constant, once again, looking at that. And these are what's going to be negative. So that we would find our voltage or our current after it's been a constant or an initial. Our initial would be zero. Our constant would be our infinities. We have E. The time would be the time over here that we're looking for. And our time constant would be like our time constant is R thevenin times C, or our time constant is inductance over R thevenin. Those are the two places where we get our T to be able to plug those in. And that can help us solve most of the case for either our time or voltage or current at a given time to be able to solve for those.